Hi, this is a demo to show um, how to deal with conflicts uh, using the GitHub GUI product. I'm using GitHub for the Mac, hopefully GitHub for Windows behaves similarly. Uh, where we are right now is we have a, uh, a very small repository in Assembla. I guess we could bring up the uh, uh, assembler directory to show that. So here is uh, a, a new repository in assembler. It has a single committer and it has a single readme file and the readme file is is empty at the moment. Both user 1 and user 2 have been uh, configured to uh, use this repository and are presently uh, in sync with the repository. User 1 over here on the right is using GitHub and command line. User 2 is just going to use the command line for simplicity. And uh, 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 as I said, both are, both are synced up at the present. So uh, over here on um, user 2, we'll let uh, user 2 uh, do some initial work. We will bring up the uh, file in, uh, in the editor. Uh, this, this is the first post. And uh, something in the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane. Line 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's actually about line 5, line 6, just to have, just to have some additional content here, not being particularly creative here. Okay, so the user will um, uh, write the file out, and at that point if they do a get status They'll be told that they have a, a modified file that's uh, in the working directory that they need to add and then, and then eventually commit. So we will add that file and we will commit the file. All right, we'll commit every, all changes which includes the file. And we'll add a little message here. Uh, initial data into file by user 2. And this is somewhat tracked, but since I'm using the same account for uh, all Git posts, this will help us uh, resolve it. So we will uh, commit it. And I forgot to close my double quotes, so we'll add one there. And at this point, uh, Git will be happy. But what uh, we'll be told, of course, is, is that our uh, local master branch is ahead of the origin, and we don't want that. So I will push uh, this out so that uh, we have made our change out to assemble. And uh, we can uh, check that quickly by uh, refreshing here. And we should be told, yes, that the readme file has some new information uh, that we made over here. Uh, just to um, uh, sort of set a baseline at this point, uh, say uh, user one comes along uh, syncs up their branch by hitting branch and sync. You can see that there is a initial data by user 2 and if, if this user uh, uh, comes along they see this change. So um, uh, let's, um, let's uh, come here and um, Go to the end of the line and append a little um, new info or something. And write that out. And the, the uh, GUI user will come back into GitHub, which will notice a change here. And we'll see the change. Uh, user 1 modified line 5 or something interesting like that. Now we, we will commit this separately from syncing it so we won't push that button so we'll hit commit. At this point we'll be told that there's one uh, 
uh, thing that's not synchronized up, we'll go ahead and do that. So at this point, uh, user two uh, uh, put something up, and then user one um, saw it and uh, fixed, uh, also uh, played with it. And if we look over here and hit refresh, we should see the new info down here, user one having done the last modify. Okay, so that's, that's hopefully the way it normally works with um, uh, users not stepping on each other's toes. But um, uh, let's uh, come along now and decide in this case that user two is going to make several changes uh, and user one will make a change, but user neither will have synchronized before the other. So as user two, we'll pull up the README. Um, oops, we didn't synchronize yet. So let's, let's over here on user two go ahead and do that. So user two is going to do a get pull minus minus rebase to bring in the changes from uh, the repository and if some work is in progress we'll put we'll we'll resynchronize so our work's on the end in this case there's no con there's no issue because we haven't been doing anything uh, but at any rate at this point we are now synchronized and if I uh, pull this up I should see that uh, new info on line 5 Let's go on and uh, append some new info on line six. And we'll write that out. And uh, being a, a good uh, citizen, we'll add that to the, we'll add that. We'll commit it. New line six contribution by user two. Uh, and then we'll, um, we could push this up or we could wait till later. We'll, we'll go on and push it up. Actually, let's wait till later. Uh, we'll come along and do another edit and uh, add info to line seven, say. Write that out, add it in, and let's see, this will be another message, new info line 7 by user 2, and at this point we will push this out. Now we probably should do some pulls and so forth to synchronize again. Uh, actually, let's just do that for good measure, we'll say good get pull minus minus rebase that will have the impact of uh, uh, no changes because there were no changes out of the repository and at this point we can do our push our push has been done and the symbol should reflect now that uh, two changes have been recently done uh, well, first we'll hit our refresh and we'll see the last net result here, but if we go to change sets, uh, we should see the contribution to line 6 and the information on line 7 as we do here. So everything's here. Okay, so if you're keeping track, uh, user 2 has been doing some work, and let's just assume that at the same time, uh, without doing any pulls uh, or syncs as they're called over here, uh, user 1 is uh, uh, doing some work as well and uh, let's decide that um, they've put um, user one's info on line six here and you recall that something else was written by user two so we've generated a conflict um, let's also come up um, and at the top here, uh, let's edit this to be uh, with modifications or something like that. Now this should be far enough away from those other changes that this will not be a conflict. And so we'll see what happens when uh, uh, Git and the associated tool set resolve this. So at any rate, we've made a couple changes. We will write them out. 
and then being a GUI user we'll come back up here to our tool and we can see that it properly notes the changes we've made uh, suggests that we commit it and we, which we, will, uh, we didn't write a commit message in here so uh, user1 changes title and line 6 info something like that all right and we'll commit it and that should go in fine because of course we're only dealing with our local repository and now as we go to sync we probably expect that something uh, less pleasing will happen and sure enough we have a conflict between um, the uh, on, read, on the file called readme, you see a conflict here and here, and I'd really like to be able to see there, but I don't want to dismiss this screen. So uh, what I need to do is pause right here, come down to here, and, and look at the file readme. Okay, and notice that the top line truly was modified because there, there was not a conflict between the changes between the two of us, so that's fine. But down here a ways, we do see that there's a conflict between uh, user 1 and 2 on the content of line 6 and 7. And you can see that they're marked, the head is the master's head, so you can see that's the information from other people than ourselves. And then down here we see our information and the, and the uh, post that goes with that. And so in our case, um, uh, let's decide that what we want is we want lines uh, one or line six from us and line seven we'd like from the other. Now I'm not going to cut and paste since it's very simple. I'll just repeat the information um, that uh, was there. So there's new info. And then what I need to do is uh, clean up the file so that it no longer has these markers and of course doesn't have any lines I don't want it to have. So, And as a minimum, these markers here, the less thans, the equals, and the greater thans have to disappear. And in my case, I think I want to delete that line, that line, that line, that line, and this line. And now I think I have a file that I'm willing to call the reconciled or resolved file. I'll store it back out. There are git commands to do all of this, but since we've paused here in the GUI, we'll mark it resolved. And since it was the only marked resolved, then it'll continue on uh, forward. And at this point, uh, I have an opportunity to sync again. And um, so I will take that. And you see at this point, the synchronization appears to have succeeded. Uh, if I uh, look at my file here, it shows the resolved information. So that, that has not changed here. Uh, if I go to uh, history, I will see uh, the line changes by others, user two here, and then I'll see user one and we won't see the fact that we resolve the conflict. It's just we've checked this new stuff in, so we're responsible. And um, let's see, we should probably look at Assembla here. And refresh this. So in Assembla, we see user 2's contributions that were there before, user 1. If we hit our uh, Browse option, the README, you see that this is the combined one, so that makes sense. Let's assume that um, uh, user2 is on their game, and so they've done a git pull minus minus rebase the next time they're wanting to do any work before they start. And uh, if we do a README here, we should see the combined brand new. So we've We've, we've hit a, a conflict, we resolved it, and, and you've seen how to do that in the, uh, the GitHub tool.